Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching Oshinoko episode 4. I am really intrigued to see where this is going. So far it seems the series has been turned into a sort of mystery, I wouldn't really say thriller at this point, but more of a mystery to try and work out who the father was and to for Aqua to try and hunt him down and kill him probably. I don't I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I think that's his goal. But so far, I'm still really, really enjoying it. Last episode, we met Kana. I already love her. She seems like so much fun. And I don't know whether she has like a little bit of a crush on Aqua after all of this time or what, but she seems really excited to try and get him into the performance arts program at their school instead of general studies. And she just seems like really excited to see him. And they are acting together on a manga to TV drama adaptation. And Aqua is playing the stalker in the adaptation. So maybe we'll see some of Aqua's acting today. I'm not too sure, but I'm excited to get into it anyway and to see what happens. Before we get into it, if you enjoy my content, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. It would really help me out. But without further ado, we'll get right into episode four. Okay. He's so observant with this sort of stuff. Is this just part of his acting process or is he doing this for like a working things out, like an investigation reason? Oh, that's so cute. How does she feel about it now? Yeah, I feel like that's so common with child actors as well. Also, like the abuse from the system, at least in Western acting. Oh no. Oh, I love that she's read it over and over again to cry every time. Literally me. I love that they've managed to animate bad acting as well. Oh, this is Aqua's role. Oh. That's why he noticed it. So good. Oh. But you are. <laughs> I feel like that makes him good at acting though, using all of those tools. <laughs> oh, he's getting a rise out of them for like good acting. I was gonna say, <laughs> they're like, this is way better. <laughs> of course, because he's read the manga. Let's go, Kana! I love seeing his thought processes.
He looks so proud in the end there. Oh, no, he made it better. Oh, I guess, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Oh, and they so they knew that she was unhappy with it. That's so mean. <laughs> it is an unhealthy trick. <laughs> Good for her. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's happy with this scene. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I love that so much. Good for Kana and Aqua. <laughs> She's like, please go on a scandal with me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Aqua genuinely looks really pleased and happy there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh! Yeah, what kind? Oh my god, he might know who the dad is. Oh! Oh, my god. What does he want? What? <laughs> oh my god. Hey! This is what we saw at the end of the first episode. <laughs> wow. Lots of famous people. Well, semi famous. <laughs> I guess it's probably like one of those places that people just flock to if they're like in a certain industry or class. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, her pink eyes and hair. It's so cute. <laughs> She's so like adorable. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. That's weird. Maybe he can make friends with the entertainment people because he's an entertainment person as well. 
<laughs> I love that that's exactly what she said to Aqua. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at her eyes. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I love how much of a fangirl she is as well. Yeah. <laughs> it would be weird, especially if like you are going to a school like that and there's like different levels of like people being famous. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. She will get famous maybe one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, she's feeling out of sorts. That's so rude. <gasps> oh my god! No! No, what? How is that the end? What the fuck? Okay, first of all, we have to talk about Aqua's acting. So good. And I know he keeps on saying over and over again that he's not a good actor. One, I think he's better than he thinks he is anyway, like with his actual skill. But also, I feel like the skill of learning your surrounding and using all of the other bits and pieces to do with production and using that to your advantage, that is kind of a skill in and of itself for acting. And so I think that also makes him a good actor and he's just not thinking about it that way. He did such a good job and also I'm so glad that the last episode at least was a big hit and it was really good and even if it didn't go viral or anything like that's that's fine it doesn't have to go viral but <laughs> I'm just glad that it ended up being a good production and that Kana was happy with it as well because Kana was very very passionate about it and I want her to be happy and get the recognition that she deserves. I'm also curious to see if he ends up going on that dating show in order to get the information. I feel like at this point he will do anything to try and get more information and background about Ai's life. So I think he's going to do it and I think it's probably going to be a pretty good episode. I feel like that'll be really fun to watch. I don't know how he's going to cope with being on a dating show with the, him being the way he is, but maybe he'll just like act his way through it. And also I wonder if Kana will get jealous with that because I think Kana sort of is at least developing a little bit of a crush on him. I just don't think that he knows that. And maybe she doesn't even realize it herself, but I have a feeling she might end up getting a little bit jealous. Potentially, we'll have to see. I also feel really sorry for Ruby as well, being in the class with a bunch of entertainers, which is fine and it's just I guess a school that they all sort of flock to but the fact that she hasn't actually been in anything yet has got to be hard for her and like she doesn't need to because the only requirement was to be signed with an agency but I feel like she's feeling a little bit left out and left behind at this point which is like it seems ridiculous because like what they're like 14 15 and <laughs> that is super super young 
anyway, but I, I suppose it's still hard to not feel left out when you're surrounded in this sort of group anyway. I just want Ruby to be happy and I want Aqua to find out more information. I think he's getting there, like he's starting to narrow it down a little bit, but we'll have to see where that goes. But I think this was like a really probably the most fun episode I think we've had so far and not too much serious stuff happened like it was more low-key and chill which was nice but I'm excited to see what happens next episode and next week it is waiting a week in between episodes is so hard oh my god but I'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for watching if you have any thoughts or opinions please leave them down in the comment section below I'll also leave all of my socials down in the description box below as well I've got twitter instagram a booktube channel and I also stream on twitch but thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all next time bye